Today is just another day at Trader Village. Good crowd today. Today we're going to shoot some videos from the demonstrator's point of view of the crowd. So I hope you guys enjoy it. Watch these videos and have some fun. You're the magician? Awesome. Do you already do magic? Yeah? Do you ever do cups and balls? Yeah. This is the classic trick. I'll show you guys this trick. Maybe you've seen it. It uses three balls and three solid cups. Now, that's the oldest trick in magic. It goes back over 2,000 years to the ancient Egyptian pyramids. Did you know that? They have hieroglyphics inside the pyramids that show them doing what looks like the cups and balls. Now, we're not exactly sure it's the cups and balls because guess what? They didn't have plastic 2,000 years ago. So here we go. We're going to use three balls and three solid cups. Would you help me out, ma'am? Just point a ball. doesn't matter which one. That one right there in the middle, that's the one I was hoping you would pick. I'm going to put it on the blue cup. Then I'm going to cover it with the red cup. And then with the yellow cup. And I'm going to snap my fingers. And do you know what happens when I snap my fingers? They're gone. No, it makes a sound. That's why it's called snapping. So you can snap your fingers. Oh, no. But when you make that sound, check what happens. The ball goes all the way to the bottom. Wow. Just like that. Right through the solid cup. Now we'll do that again. Ready? One, two. Three. Now, have you ever read the instructions? Now, watch this. I'm going to show you how easy it is to do. Pick up one of the balls. doesn't matter which one. Put it on top of the red cup. Cover it with the yellow cup. And then cover it with the blue cup. All right. Can you snap your finger? What happens when you snap your fingers? It makes a sound. It makes a sound. Good. We got that. And when we make that sound, the ball travels all the way down to the bottom and lands wow. inside the cup. Just like that. Watch this. I'll show you. Watch this. We'll do a little different. One, two, three. Now, last ball. Now, I'm going to be honest with you guys. I've been cheating you. I'm sorry. I've been cheating you. I've been using three cups, and you've only got two eyes, so we're going to get rid of two of the cups, just like this. And I'm going to take the last ball, and I'm actually going to put this in my pocket. Okay? Now, what I want you to do is I want you to pay attention to that cup right there, because i got one ball in my pocket and one ball right... And I know what you're thinking. You're thinking I must have something in my hand, right? But I don't. I'm, that, that's, how you, that's how you point. You bring your fingers in like that and point. Anyway, right there, the last cup. I'm going to snap my fingers. And what happens when we snap our fingers? It makes a sound. It makes a sound. That's right. But it also causes the ball to go from the pocket back to the cup. Is that amazing or what? Yeah. Yeah? But y'all don't look like you're overly impressed. Like maybe... Yeah. Like, maybe you don't believe that the ball is in the cup. I do. I do. Okay, well, I'm glad y'all believe. I tell you what. You're going to say, if I do it, if I lift that cup up, you're going to say, Mr. Magician, you did some magish and made that ball go in there. You slipped it in at the last second, right? So you wanted to help out. Would you mind lifting up the cup and showing everybody that there is three balls and three cups? Go ahead, lift it. Yes, sir. And just like that, three balls and three cups. Is that amazing or what? Yes, sir. And that was really easy to do. That's the cups and balls. That one sells for five dollars and it comes with instructions Ooh. and i'm going to show you guys my favorite card trick Ooh, I know what you like cards yes yeah. watch this i'll show you the cards before we get started and just in case you think it's in some kind of a pre-arranged or order or memorized i'm going to give it a shuffle now i did pre-arrange it thank you very much for making me shuffle it but here we go you just tell me when to stop all right before christmas would be nice you ready let's try that again here we go tell me when to stop stop, stop. right there so quick take that card and show it to everybody don't let me see the seven of hearts. Did you let me see the seven of hearts? Is it the seven of hearts? Oh, goodness gracious. Let's put it back in the middle. It doesn't matter. It's not that kind of a trick. We'll put it in the middle. Right there. Seven of hearts right there in the middle. I'll put the cards back on top. You want me to find it the fast way or the slow way? Fast way. Good. Because if you said slow way, I said come back at five o'clock. That's when I close. Here we go. Ready? Okay. The fast way. Just like this. And just like that, your card now jumps to the top Whoa. of the deck. <laughs> The seven of hearts. That's pretty cool, right? Watch this. We'll do it again. Maybe I didn't put it in the middle. This time we'll put it clearly in the middle. We'll slide it in just like that. And I'll we'll give it that little move. And just like that, your car jumps oh, right wow. back to the top. <laughs> okay, watch this. It gets better. It gets better. Watch. So I'm going to lose it. So this time I, even, I don't know where it's at. And we're not going to do that little fancy move this time. I'm going to ask you, sir, to give me a number between 5 and 20. Eight. Eight. One, 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Before I turn that next card over, do you want to stay there or do you want to go further into the deck? I'll stay there. That's what I knew you would say. And just like that, there's the seven of hearts right at your number spot. Now here we go. Big warm up or big finale. Watch this. Here we go. We're going to finish it. Will you help me out, ma'am? All I need is your finger. All you have to do is just stick your finger. I'm going to do this and you stick your finger in the deck anywhere you want. But when you do, leave it in there, all right? <laughs> right there. Go ahead. Take it out. It's the seven. It's not it, is it? Because that's the seven of spades. What oh. she wanted, look what she did. Right there, the seven of hearts, just like that. Now, I know that's pretty crazy, but watch this. This time we're going to leave it on the bottom, right? We'll do this. Here it is. Right there on the bottom, the seven of hearts so everybody can see it. All right? I'm going to show you how this trick works. You ready? Watch this. If I do this little move like that, what it does is it causes a molecular reaction to happen within the ink of the cards. And all your cards turn, pretty much turn into the seven of hearts. Now, we don't want to play a game with a deck like that, so what we'll do is we'll scoop them back up, do that little move again, change them right back, and just like that, all back to normal cards. I know, that's crazy, right? Now look, I'm not going to lie to you, this is a mechanical deck. The deck does all the work. It makes you look like a really good magician. All you have to do is be able to do this. What do you think? Think you guys could do that? That's all you have to be able to do, because if you can do that, you can do all the moves that are in the trick. It comes with a book. It teaches you 19 very cool tricks to do with this deck of cards. Okay? And check this out. We made it even easier. Picture instructions for boys, word instructions for girls. So everybody can do this trick, right? Yeah. Normally this trick is $14.99, but we have them on sale with tax for $10. And anybody, like I said, could do it. So cups and balls for five. The Svengali decks for ten. So it would be very easy for me to find it. So you want me to find it the fast way or the slow way, sir? How about that? Is that fast enough? Is that your card there right on the top, the seven of hearts? Yes? All right. Very good. All right. Now we'll do it again because maybe my fast magician hands were magician and you didn't see me do it, right? Maybe I didn't really put it in the middle. So I'll put it in the middle this time. Just like that. And we'll do it one more time right here so you can see, man. The seven of hearts once again jumps to the top. That one, the seven of hearts. Ah, you're right because the seven of hearts needed one more second to get to the top just like that the seven of hearts. I know what you're thinking we'll go ahead and uh, we'll do this we'll do this I'll show you one more time I will be happy to show you that right there there's one in every crowd here we go all right one more time we'll do a little different I'm gonna go ahead and mix it up so even I don't know where they're at believe it or not that's possible just like that you saw with the ski cap on I've been skiing today, huh? I see that with the glasses and everything, all right? What I want you to do is just stick your finger in the deck anywhere you want, all right? And leave it there when you got it. All right, go ahead and pull it out and show it to everybody. It's that seven of hearts again, isn't it? Yeah. All right, very good. My card, sir. My card's my shot. I'll, I'll close them anywhere you want. Right there? Got it? Yeah. Right there? Go ahead, turn around. <laughs> Did you see what happened? No. What you want, what you didn't see, sir, was I uh, turned the whole deck into your card. That way I could find it no matter what you did to me, right? So, but I didn't want to get caught with a deck like that, so I'll uh, change it back for you right there, and just like that, all back to regular cards again. Uh, so, good job, almost got me, almost got me. That's the mechanic. That's a mechanical deck. The deck does all the work. Even when somebody tries to fool you, they, they end up fooling themselves. The deck does all the work. With a little bit of magic. Watch, I'll do it right here in front of you. Ready? That's all that it takes. And just like that, I'll let you see them. All seven parts. Now, I don't want to get caught, like I said, so we'll do that and change them right back. Right over here. That quick. Right here, you can see. I'm going to show you the oldest magic trick in all of magic. It goes back over 2,000 years to the ancient Egyptian pyramids. They have hieroglyphics showing them what looks like they're doing the cups and balls. It uses three balls and three cups. Now we think it's that old because they didn't have plastic back then, so we're not real sure. But anyway. Now I'm going to be honest with you guys. I've been cheating you. I know it's not fair to cheat a little one like this, so I'm going to be fair. I'll be honest. 
See, I'm using three cups, and you've only got two eyes, so we're going to get rid of two of these cups and make it more difficult on me, the magician doing the magish. Okay, watch this. I take the time to show you my favorite card trick. First, before we get started, I'll let you see the cards. That way you can see it. And just so you don't think they're in some prearranged order, I'm going to go ahead and give them a shuffle. And by the way, they were in a prearranged order, but you've now made me shuffle. Thank you very much. Now, you guys want to see how it's done? Let me show you how it's done. Watch this. I'm going to put the seven of hearts right there on the bottom. I'll slide it over. I'll even turn it over so that you can see it when it happens. I'm sorry, it already happened. You missed it, didn't you? Uh, what happens is when I give it that little flick move just like that, I can take all the cards and turn them into your cards, which makes it so much easier to find the cards if they're all the same. you got to admit that. Now, we don't want to play cards with a deck like that. We'd get accused of cheating. So we to pick them back up. Do that little move again. Change them right back over here. to a regular deck. Right here is you can see. I'm going to show you the oldest magic trick in all of magic. It goes back over 2,000 years to the ancient Egyptian pyramid. They have hieroglyphics showing them it looks like they're doing the cups and balls. It uses three balls and three cups. Now, we think it's that old because they didn't have plastic back then, so we're not real sure. But anyway, I want you to go ahead and pick out one of the balls. It doesn't matter which one. That one? Perfect. That's the one I was hoping you'd pick. I'm going to put it on the red cup. And I'm going to cover it with the blue cup. And I'm going to cover it with the yellow cup. And I'm going to snap my fingers. Do you know what happens when I snap my fingers? No, it makes a sound. That's why it's called snapping. <laughs> no, but when you make that sound, when you make that sound, the ball travels through the cup and lands on the mat right there like that. Solid through solid, right? Here we go. We'll do it again. One, two, three. I'm going to show you how easy it is to do. This time I want you to pick up one of the balls. And I want you to put it on the blue cup this time. And take the yellow cup and put it on top of the blue cup. And the red cup on top of the yellow cup. Can you snap your fingers? And what happens when we snap our fingers? It makes a, snap. It makes a sound. That's right. You got it.